Well, good afternoon, folks. It's the 22nd of May, 2022 here Sunday. Lots of twos here today. Uh, we're live from One Bethlehem Plaza here in downtown Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. It is pretty hot today. We're having a nice hot weekend uh, here. We'll take it. Looking real quick at a last week world summer here. So this is week ending the 21st here yesterday on a retail calendar. So this big map is trends versus last year, how the temperature is different. Here in the U.S., we were 1.1 degrees warmer than last year, making the hottest in four years, fourth hottest in 37 years. So a hot week for sure, much above average. On a national scale, dry, 38, 33% drier than last year, uh, driest in eight years, seventh driest in 37 years. Up there in Canada, not so lucky, uh, coldest in 11 years, below average temperatures, wettest in nine, so cold and wet and even snowy. Uh, UK, second warmest in 37 years, so they continue their hot trends. Cold spot would be in Brazil, coldest in 37 years. So again, getting into their um, late fall season here, but the number one cold is down, uh, down south here. Uh, world overall, warmest in four years. The maps inset left are the trends versus uh, average. We look at the tornado count. Unfortunately, they continue to go up and up. Uh, we're at 718 uh, preliminary tornadoes counting. Uh, that's the most in three years. 49% more than last year, 14% uh, above average, and puts it in the top 24% of history. So it's uh, on the high side for sure, as expected. And uh, unfortunately, these trends are going to continue here through the uh, even the summer off-peak season here. Uh, one thing that might be weakening here, and you're starting to see signs around the world here that uh, maybe the pattern is shifting uh, in terms of the general Hadley cell circulation that brings uh, with the combination of La Nina that creates a subsidence and sinking air over the Americas, making us drier as we've been the last couple of years um, and making the Southwest Asia and China areas wetter. Um, that may be flip-flopping here. We're already seeing signs of that in both areas of the world here. So Let's hope uh, La, Nina, La Nina is almost in the history books here. Still so moderate, but uh, looks like it's heading in the direction of uh, weakening. Looking at this week here, week ending 28 May here, so the last full week of May here before Memorial Day weekend. Um, here in the U.S., um, a little bit cooler. Uh, cold in the central U.S. for sure. 1.3 degrees cold in last year. Colds in five years. Tenth colds in 37 years. So uh, below average nationally here. Good news here is we're going to get this cold snap beginning of the, the week and a warming trend as we go through the week uh, into the weekend, critical holiday weekend. Precip trends, uh, again, 37% wet in the last year, wettest in five years, eighth wettest in 37 years, more severe weather threat there you see from Texas in the Midwest, Ohio Valley, um, occasionally spilling here into the southeast. We even had a tornado reported, uh, confirmed actually, in New Jersey here uh, this past Friday. So again, the severe weather abounds, so we'll be adding to some of those tornado uh, statistics for sure. Look at the spring temperature trends. Now, these are trends on a national scale versus average. Red bars just suggest that day was above average for the U.S. And blue bars, colder than average for the U.S. overall. The red and blue lines are just the temperatures across um, 260 major cities. Um, been volatile for sure, up and down, cold and hot, cold and hot, cold and hot, which obviously creates these uh, tornadic severe weather outbreaks. Um, the good news is also leading to some more rain. So in drought parched areas, are actually getting some rain, um, and that's the good news. Here in the U.S. right now, so we've just had a really uh, hot week here, obviously. Um, cooling off here for um, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then by midweek, starting to see another big nationwide warm surge here. Well, most of the nation, at least the eastern two-thirds going into the Memorial Day weekend looks uh, pretty hot for the country overall. Um, so again, some cooler trends, but then uh, getting warm toward the Memorial Day weekend here. Next week, hard to believe we're already getting into June, and that also means the start, official start of the hurricane season, one June every year. Uh, you've seen our earlier reports that we published many months ago about uh, an extremely active season. I think we're over projecting over 20 named systems again this year. Um, so again, a, a top three, four, five type season again, and uh, still very concerned about this cycle. Again, there's just a lot of things that suggest that uh, we're going to get clobbered here in the U.S. Um, Florida, southeast, uh, even mid-Atlantic, uh, southern New Jersey areas are, are potentially at risk this year. So it, Definitely a lot of things uh, teaming up here to suggest, uh, again, stay on guard here was the hurricanes. As they say, it only takes one. Uh, conveyor belt of moisture where they probably need it here from Texas uh, into the West Texas, into the plains. Uh, definitely will help with the drought situation there. If we can pull all that off with a one, two, three inch type event. Uh, maps right, you can see again, pretty warm from uh, from the southwest into the northeast. U.S. overall, we'd say about 2.2 degrees warmer in the last year. Third warmest in 37 years, so much above average national temperatures. Um, map inset the uh, bottom there is the uh, trends versus last year so much much hotter here going into the memorial day weekend good news uh, 37 year precip trends here show about just a hair wetter than last year what is in three years um, still 18th driest so kind of in the middle of the pack but just a hair below average again that map inset left is the trends versus average we can aggregate these two-week trends here now just again 22 may through 4 june here and uh, 
U.S., the general trend here, getting a brief uh, volatile uh, cool snap here in the Midwest, uh, central U.S., but then warming up for most of the eastern two-thirds. Still cold in the Pacific Northwest. Uh, so, again, they just uh, cannot shake their cold pattern. Blame the Pacific that's cold. If the Pacific's cold, you're probably going to be cold on the on the West Coast here. Pretty warm there in Europe. Uh, still cold there in southwest Russia, where everybody lives. Uh, pretty warm up there in Siberia and uh, warmer down in Australia as they enter their um, late fall season. So with that, folks, we hope you have a great week, and uh, we will be back here again this time next week.